All right, you know I gotta have some fun until somebody starts shooting at me, at least, because there's cool old tractors out here. This is awesome. Oh yeah, check it out. Now that would be a ride. Woohoo! Good times in Montana. <laughs> oh, no power steering. Ah. No, I know it's not on. By the way, how's everybody doing? Uh, ladies and gentlemen and zombies. You have to add zombies now because we're living in the zombie apocalypse. Or the Truman Show or the Matrix or just about anything else. 1984 would probably best describe it. So, moving on. Great place. We started out with a plan. I set the GPS to Stevensville Elementary School because I wanted to check out um, uh, something, some road that I can't remember in my head right now, but I'll put it on screen if I can, or we'll just get there anyway. There's, there's a couple cool curves coming up this road when we leave or when we start this journey. And then we're actually already about 15 miles from where I started. I'll probably put that at the tail end of the video so that you all don't get bored and you can turn it off halfway through. How's that sound? So let's hop on, let's get rocking, let's do this. All right, GPS is already set. We switched to the open finger gloves. That'll make it easier to start and stop the GoPro, quite honestly, although not a good time to crash and skin yourself. That's okay, getting pretty good at this. All right, let's rock and roll, adventure time. We're leaving zombie land and going to paradise, I think. but the GPS is telling me to go left and we're still on dirt. Although the gravel isn't as bad. Yeah, now we're just dirt, we're okay. Oh, there's a patch of rocks. Holy shit. And for those wondering, this is riding on Pirelli Angel tires. And so you can kind of see how I'm able to get through dirt roads on a scooter. Keep in mind the handling characteristics, this is no dirt bike by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, here we are on I Have No Idea Road. We're gonna make a left here and get back onto our regular course and regular plan, I think. Keep in mind, if you're riding a scooter through the uh, dirt, kind of like anything else, keep the front wheel straight, use your rear brake so you can slide the back and not the front. Let's go.
overtaken. I think that's gonna be East Side Highway ahead of us, which means I totally fucked this up. <laughs> but that's the fun of it, I guess. So we just came off Winter's Lane and we're gonna take a right here. Turns out the road I'm looking for, Middle Burnt Fork, great name for a road, right? Middle Burnt Fork, uh, is right there, right ahead. So we are gonna take Middle Burnt Fork and continue this journey, partially on the plan, partially not. As life goes, you roll the bones. stop and do a map check because I gotta make a new plan. We're still out uh, Middle Burnt Fork Road. Got a fresh battery in the GoPro. Got a new plan. I'm gonna take you out Middle Burnt Fork Road as far as I can, and then we really need gas. So then we're gonna flip around, double back, and head to the Senex in Stevensville. That's the new plan. Let's see if we can uh, stick with it.
So here you have it, my friends. This is South Burnt Fork Road. Turning this way continues on to Middle Burnt Fork Road as it keeps going out into the dirt and to the east. So I think we got to turn around because I'm on E. We got to get some gas, but it's nice out here, peaceful. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Try to put on a good show, you know. I don't like the showboat necessarily, but uh, ah, what the hell, you know, you got to live a little. Hell, you got to live a lot. Rock and roll. Have some bravado. Rush. So you're wondering why are we stopped out here in the middle of nowhere and it's because I was riding along and Roxy was riding so good and then all of a sudden I had no engine power and I thought uh oh I'm not out of gas yet am I look at the gauge no I'm still on E there's plenty in there at least a liter or, or even if a little less and then I'm thinking oh shit Roxy's been flawless up to this point and then I realized what the problem might have been. I think I accidentally hit the uh, the kill switch when I was riding. That's the only explanation. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here before it happens again because I am in the middle of nowhere. take a risk live on the edge and just go left and get all the way down to Corvallis to that gas station but since we had that little issue we're gonna go ahead and play it safe come up here to Stevensville get some gas I'm like 99% certain that I just hit the kill switch on accident I'm gonna go home and check the video for that one just to verify to you that Roxy is probably the most dependable thing with a motor and um, yeah, so uh, we're gonna do that instead. Normally I like to live on the edge of the edge of the edge, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just do that. I just wanna know Roxy's okay. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Ladies and gentlemen, zombies, welcome to Stevensville, Montana, downtown. Passing through Main Street, about to cross 3rd Street.
Look at that. Wear a mask. Bullshit. <laughs> Hey, man. Uh, just let's see what we got here. Four dollars and seventy cents. Number six, I think it is. No masks. Nobody gives a shit. Just the way the world should be. Time for a vape. Yeah, I'd say this has been one uh, wild ride. Wild ride with Roxy. Oh, that sounded dirty again. Here we are in uh, Stevensville, Montana, the Bitterroot Valley. For you worldly folks that are wondering, got friends all over the globe. Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Germany and probably a few other places I'm forgetting. Okay, Roxy, stands up, full of gas. Double check that kill switch. Start up for me. Easy, okay. She's good, no problems. Let's rock. No more phone, don't need GPS anymore. We're gonna take a long stretch down the east side. By the way, for those who are wondering how I got into scooters, um, Indonesia, I've spent the last four years of my life living mostly in Indonesia. And I learned to love riding there, because you have to ride there. And so people might say, well, why not a motorcycle? Well, because I just fell in love with scooters in Indonesia. It's like their main transportation. And over there, having to work a clutch and switch gears is like very, very, very skilled in that crazy ass traffic. Then I got stuck because of the pandemic now for a while, a long while, I miss my girls. And pretty damn sick of the con Rona and all the zombies. But uh, anyway, I'm, I digress. I uh, freaking love scooters, man. They're a blast. I forgot to reset the mileage counter after I got gas. I know, I'm a bit anal like that. Have to deal with it. The summer's calling. The summer's calling. If the kingdom is overthrown, meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I can. We've got some really heavy crosswinds heading back up to the, uh, I'm sorry, back down to the south. Really blowing. Can't be without you. This bond is solid gold. We're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way Now we've been Through the cold and darkest days The summer's calling intersection this was a mighty adventure with all kinds of twists and turns 
figuratively and literally. And I hope you had a good time. The journey never ends. Stay sane out there, my friends. We'll catch you next time. smoke to clear and we watch our dreams appear i know that we can rise together and east side highway i'm on my own broken alone i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Because I believe